Lead counsel for Dr. Odoi, Dr. Enes Akon, argued in a statement of case that the Speaker of Parliament failed to ensure that a fiscal impact analysis was attached to the bill before passing it. He maintained that the House breached constitutional provisions and hence made the bill unconstitutional. He prayed the courts to injunct the bill from being sent to the President to be assented to since, if approved, imposes a direct charge on public funds, violating Article 108. But counsel for the Speaker of Parliament, Thadio Sorry, disagreed. He prayed the court to dismiss the injunction since it sought to bring in another arm of government to interfere in the transmission of the bill, which had not yet been concluded. Attorney General Godfrey Abouada may argue that every step taken by Parliament was null and void since the Speaker omitted the impact analysis. This go for the court to indeed determine whether the bill that is being sought to be, for want of better expression, raised is in the public good or indeed affects the public purse. If the bill affects the public purse, then with all respect, the court owes a duty to halt the progress of that bill. Council for Broadcast Journalist Richard Dalaskai Parkwesi Abedu noted that Parliament failed to adhere to the advice by the Attorney General in passing the anti LGBTQ bill. He averred that there was a fundamental breach by the House and the Speaker in admitting the bill, hence, pray the courts to injunct the process. Getting to the tail end of the proceedings, Council for the Speaker of Parliament, Thadio Sorry, indicated to the court that. He had received new information that the actual opinion of the speaker as well as the fiscal impact analysis documents had been made available to him and pray the courts that he would file it. That came to me right after um, the court took a break. They found the speaker's actual opinion and they found the uh, 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 fiscal impact analysis. I will create the court by tomorrow morning to file a supplementary. And that's those, I'll just attach them. That's all. But Parkwisi Abedu was not pleased with his submission. All I told myself was God bless the Chief Justice when she took the position that this matter has been pending for over a year. And if indeed that controversial report or that report which has remained the bane of controversy in court was with them, why do you wait after arguments? Why do you wait after all has been said and done before you come out to say that such a bill existed what were the researchers of parliament doing and what were his own researchers doing the case has since been adjourned to july 17 where the panel of justices will rule on the injunction application lodi dwasari tv3 news supreme court